Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you some wrist and finger and arm movements and we'll eventually be putting it all together into what's called the lotus flower mudra. So I hope you enjoy. Just start either sitting on the floor, you could sit in a chair, you could do this standing, whatever's going to be most comfortable for you. And then with the hands a little bit cupped, bring the palms of the hands towards one another, but you're not flattening the hands all the way together. There's a little bit of space. And the first movement from this position is to curl the backs of the hands. You curl across the backs of the fingers, the backs of the hands till the fingers face down, and then you curl back up the other way. And that's the first movement, curling down, articulating each of those joints of the hands and the fingers and the wrists. Let's say two more times that way. And what this part of the movement represents in terms of the mudra is this is the seed position. And as the fingers go down, that's the roots going down. And then pause in this position. Now we're gonna do some wrist circles with the hands touching one another, which is different than maybe what you've done in uh, classes. Turn your palms to face out and then roll the hands, backs of the hands together, and then roll around. So some part of your hands is touching each, each other through the whole movement. And if you run into yourself, you might need to move your hands a little bit further away from your chest or your belly. You can play around with the pace. And then pause at the C position and then do that circle the other way. So open the hands to face you and then down and around. Same circle rolling across the backs of the hands and the heels of the hands, opposite direction. Make sure you're breathing. Two more of these circles this way. And then pause with that cupped hands together. Next is going to be to pull the three middle fingers away from one another and then pull the thumbs and the little fingers away from the middle too. These thumbs and little finger tips still touch, these three pull apart and that becomes what's called the actual blooming lotus flower. From here, you're going to take that up over your head as far as it's comfortable, let it blossom and then twinkle the fingers, the arms float down, that's the petals falling down. From this position, open into that lotus position, take it up, and let the hands twinkle down. We'll do two more like that, then we'll put it all together. Open into the blossoming lotus, take it over the head, and petals fall. Last one with the blossoming part and the petals falling part. and then pause at the seat position. Now we'll put it all together. And like I said, each position represents a different part of the life cycle. Everything has a life cycle, flowers, trees, humans. From this seed position, send the roots down and then flip the hands either away or towards you. Come to the lotus position, bloom it up and then let the petals fall back to the seed. I'll talk you through it a couple more times and then I'll leave some silent space to do it a couple times on your own. From the C, curl across the backs of the hands, roots down, flip the hands either way to the lotus blooming, take it up, and petals fall. I'll talk you through one more from the C, curl across the backs of the hands, flip them around in a circle, lotus flower blooms, and petals fall. And then I'm gonna keep going, but I'm not gonna talk anymore. So you can just do a few rounds on your own, either watching the video or you could close your eyes if you want. Breathing and enjoying the movement. certainly be going at a different pace than I'm going. Two more. I 
I learned this many, many years ago. Last one. Okay. So that's it. You could certainly keep doing it if you like it. Um, continue with it for a few more minutes on your own. You could do any of the positions independent. So you could just sit in the seed position and take a few breaths. You could do the roots position and pause there. So you could pause in any of the positions and connect to just that one part of the mudra. So those are just some ideas. I hope your wrists and fingers and shoulders feel looser from that. Good thing to do, especially if you're uh, typing on a computer a lot all day, just to get all of that loosened back up. So thank you. Hope you enjoyed.